Okay. Hello, guys. Um, my presentation is on the photographer Dora Mar. Dora Mar was born with the name of Henriette Theodora Markovich. She was born in 1907 and died, unfortunately, in 1997. She later changed her name to Dora Mar, which was a family nickname, and Mar was just short for Markovich. She was a French artist who later became a photographer. At the age of three, she moved to Buenos Aires, Argentina, which she learned how to speak Spanish fluently due to her father's job as an architect. Um, she went back and forth from France to Argentina, and she attended colleges for art, such as the Central Union of Decorative Arts, the School of Photography, the School of Art, and in particular, in the School of Art, she met Jacqueline Lambda, who was a fiance of Andrew Breton, and he was one of the co-founders of Surrealism, and you will see that later in her photography. Right here is just um, a photograph by Man Ray. This is um, Dora Moore. She started off with advertisement photography. Um, she was Man Ray's assistant who was also a very well-known photographer. She learned techniques and was often given advice from him to pursue a career in photography. She did commissions for Chanel, and her regular customers were Jacques Heim, Jean Lambin, and Elsa Schiaparelli. She, she shot for magazines along with Man Ray for Liga Figaro, Illustre, and Biote. Right here, interesting enough, this was a photograph she shot for Jack Westheim. And here is an interesting photo that I really like. This was actually an ad for anti-aging cream. In particular, I really like how she used the spider web to frame her subject's face, um, specifically around her subject's eyes, and how the spider just really landed in between her eyebrows. Um, here are just a few more advertisement photography she shot. I'm guessing this was, was for a hair product. It's not quite clear um, what it was for, but I'm pretty sure it was for advertising. Um, this was for a shampoo ad. I really like how you can see the clear texture of the bubbles, and we don't really know if it's either sitting upright or sideways. And I just really like how this was shot, and it's very out of ordinary for a shampoo ad. Um, the thing about Dora Mar, she photographed women in a new light. She presented them as free-spirited, adventurous, and very independent, which during this time was not very common in women. They were very conservative and controlled by their husbands and bound to be housewives, and... Um, Mar and her close friends really represented that new era, that new woman era during this time. Um, here is a portrait, not a portrait, sorry, a photograph, um, which I got kind of mixed information about. Some say that it's actually Dora Mar right here, and it's photographed by Man Ray, but she actually edited this little star right here as a photo montage. It's not originally in the real life photograph. She later um, stuck this on. And um, here is another advertisement ad. Here's just a simplicity photo of a mirror, which I really enjoy. And here's another one of a actress, I think, at the time. Um, her name was um, Leonor Finney, I think. It's a, port it's a photograph shot by Dora Moore. Um, later on, Dora Mar's photography took a surrealistic turn. She started being more involved with the surrealistic circle during this time, and she was just around it, and it influenced her a lot. She was exposed to the economic depression in the late 20s and early 30s, which was in the U.S., Argentina, and the U.K. As she was born in a rich descent, she was not exposed to this growing up in France, so as she traveled to photograph, she was exposed to this kind of um, 
environments, which um, actually inspired her to become more leftist and influence the political beliefs into her photography. This is where her famous photo montages were created. Um, although they weren't created by her, photo montages were used as political expression and um, they were firstly used in a protest and she's best known she's best known for this here's a very neat photo montage that she did it somewhat um, looks like it could have been motion blur but i'm pretty sure she just cut from other photographs just jammed it onto one making this cool effect as if the subject was moving there's double eyes right here and along with this one i think it's a self-portrait of dora Moore herself and she shows two perspectives of her, one just facing forward and the other one of her side profile, which I thought was very neat. This photograph right here is another one of her photo montages. It looks to me as it's combined with a photo negative and a regular film. Um, she sandwiched them together and made them into one. Here's another portrait of a lady this right here is um, one of her well-known portraits. It's called The Pretender. Some, um, she actually asked an acrobat to turn that way, which is the little boy right here. And I am not quite sure how she did the curvature of the, the shot, but it's rumored to be um, expressing how people dealt with the depression during this time. Here's another neat um, photograph of this these two kids and I really like how the staircase leads up to the subject and the garden the background really shows depth into the photograph right here is a portrait of it's called portrait of Ubu which is one of her well most well-known photographs um, some say it's rumored to be a fetus armadillo but that information hasn't been disclosed she actually purposely didn't want people to know what it was. Here's another surrealistic photograph she did of a, it's called Shell Hand. I just really thought it was neat. She really, you could see a lot of her art into her photographs. Another surrealistic photograph right here of just random legs and kind of the illusion of this hand grasping the tip of the toes. Um, here is a, another surrealistic portrait she did um, of her friend's artwork as she was always involved in the surrealistic circle. She often did take street photos too. She um, later became exposed to the street life and the poverty within it and it still holds odd, per odd perspectives. Here is one of a man which I thought was very peculiar but very neat. Um, the billboard in the background kind of frames his face and right here is another interesting one where it kind of looks like the man doesn't have a head but he's just looking down from the sewer I think this is what it's called um, just more street photos I think this one was in the UK when all of this political propaganda was shown and just another um, self-portrait of her Dora Maar and a random photo of um, a sort of flower. So right here, just combined all the, the differentiality of her portraits. She's shot advertisement and then street photos and then very um, peculiar, surrealistic type of photographs. And that's the end of my presentation. Thank you so much for watching.